The emergency equipment module is made up of two parts. Part 1 will discuss flight deck oxygen and supernumerary oxygen. Part 2 will discuss evacuation, fire suppression, lighting, and miscellaneous equipment. Flight deck oxygen system is supplied by gaseous oxygen bottles stowed in the forward cargo compartment. Oxygen flows from the bottles through a pressure regulator to a diluter demand regulator connected to a face mask. Flight deck oxygen pressure is displayed on the ICAS status page. This is the only indication of flight deck oxygen pressure. Portable oxygen bottle and mask are located on the aft left bulkhead of the flight deck. Flight deck oxygen masks are located in stowage boxes in the sidewall next to each crew position. Each stowage box contains a hose, harness, and mask which has a normal 100% selector attached to the mask. Pushing the normal 100% selector to 100% selects 100% oxygen. The normal 100% selector can be operated without removing the mask from the stowage box. Lifting the normal 100% selector to normal selects an air-oxygen mixture ratio which is dependent on cabin altitude. The flow indicator in the upper left-hand corner of the stowage box is blank when there is no oxygen flow. The flow indicator displays a yellow cross when oxygen is flowing. Pushing the reset test slide lever in the direction of the arrow tests the oxygen flow. Oxygen momentarily flows to the regulator without having to remove the mask from the stowage box. The stowage box has two hinged doors that open when the mask and harness is removed. Squeezing the red release levers with the thumb and forefinger allows the mask to be removed from stowage. As the left hand door on the stowage box opens, an oxygen valve in the box opens and oxygen flows to the regulator. Squeezing the red handles allows oxygen to inflate the harness for donning. Releasing the red handles after donning the mask allows the harness to deflate, holding the mask tight against the face. The normal 100% selector operates the same when the mask is being worn as it does when the mask is stowed in the stowage box. Next to the normal 100% selector, is the emergency test selector. Rotating the selector selects oxygen under positive pressure. This selector can also be operated when the mask is stowed. The stowage box doors can be closed without shutting off oxygen. The oxygen on flag indicates that oxygen is still on. With the left door closed, pushing and releasing the reset test slide lever resets the valve and shuts off the oxygen. The oxygen on flag disappears. Opening the left hand door turns on oxygen. When the oxygen valve is open, Quick donning capability is retained when the mask is removed. This capability is lost if the valve is closed. Question.
Answer B is correct. Remove the mask by squeezing the red release levers with thumb and forefinger. As the mask and regulator are removed from the stowage box, the oxygen valve opens and the oxygen flows to the regulator. Now let's look at testing the oxygen system. Procedures for the pre-flight check of the flight deck oxygen system are provided in Volume 1 of the Operations Manual. The mask and regulator should remain in the stowed position when testing the regulator and mask microphone. Adjusting the speaker volume on the audio selector panel allows transmission from the respective oxygen mask microphone to be heard. Oxygen pressure can be checked on the ICAST status page. Pushing the reset test slide lever in the direction of the arrow permits a flow of oxygen into the mask and regulator. The yellow cross is displayed momentarily in the flow indicator, showing the regulator received oxygen and is airtight. Pushing and holding the reset test slide lever, while also pushing and holding the emergency test selector, permits a continuous flow of oxygen into the mask and regulator and across the mask microphone. The yellow cross is displayed continuously in the flow indicator. Pushing the push to talk switch on the audio selector panel to interphone while also holding the reset test slide lever and emergency test selector causes the sound of flowing oxygen to be heard on the flight deck loudspeaker. This confirms operation of the regulator and mask microphone. Pushing the normal 100% selector places the oxygen flow to 100%. Question. Answer B is correct. The oxygen on flag indicates the valve is open and oxygen is available. Question. Answer A is correct. Opening the left door opens the oxygen valve in the box, restoring oxygen flow. Now let's look at the supernumerary oxygen system. The supernumerary oxygen system is made up of oxygen bottles, one flow control unit, and passenger service units commonly referred to as PSUs. Supernumerary oxygen pressure is displayed on the ICAS status page. Controls for the supernumerary oxygen system are located on the overhead panel. The switch has three positions. When the switch is guarded to normal and cabin altitude reaches approximately 14,000 feet, the flow control unit automatically opens and the masks drop from the PSUs. Manual operation is available at any altitude by opening the guard and placing the switch to on. The flow control unit opens and the masks drop from the PSUs.
The ICAS advisory message, Supernumerary Oxygen, on, is displayed when supernumerary oxygen lines are pressurized. All the no smoking signs and fasten seatbelt signs also illuminate. Pulling down on the mask opens a valve in the PSU and releases oxygen under low pressure. The supernumerary oxygen can be reset below 12,000 feet by placing the supernumerary oxygen switch to reset. This closes the flow control unit and cuts off oxygen to the supernumerary system. When supernumerary oxygen is reset, the ICAS advisory message, Supernumerary Oxygen On, is no longer displayed, and the no smoking and fasten seatbelt signs extinguish. The supernumerary oxygen system, like the flight deck oxygen system, is connected to a common discharge line for thermal relief. A discharge port is covered by a green disc located just aft of the forward cargo door. The absence of the disc indicates one or more of the oxygen bottles has thermally discharged. A portable oxygen bottle container is located on the outside wall of the lavatory. The container has a portable bottle inside with disposable face mask attached. Question. Answer C is correct. Placing the supernumerary switch to on opens the flow control unit. When the supernumerary switch is in norm, the flow control unit automatically opens when cabin altitude reaches approximately 14,000 feet.